construction. What is a construction? Well, basically, it's making particular shapes or patterns uh, geometrically um, and not just simply doing them randomly. So, uh, for instance, if I was drawing an equilateral triangle, I wouldn't just approximate the angles and uh, sides. I would use geometric techniques to make sure that a shape was certainly an equilateral triangle. And there's a couple of constructions that you have to know about. Firstly, we've got what we call a perpendicular bisector. So what is this? Well, a perpendicular bisector is a line that's perpendicular to another. We've talked about perpendicular lines in that they touch another at 90 degrees. And it directly cuts the second line in two. So how do we create a perpendicular bisector. Well, we take a compass, if you've never used a compass before, and I don't mean of the distance type, um, make sure that you um, have practiced with them. You would put the point of the uh, compass, uh, the metal point, at one end, and then set the distance for greater than half the length of the line that we're uh, bisecting. And do a nice arc. Um, Remember, in constructions, don't rub out the lines that you've put in. They're showing the examiner how you actually made the uh, perpendicular bisector in this case. Keeping the width of the compass the same, you've got to be careful there because the compass can be nudged and what have you. You put the metal point on the other end and create another arc. And what you should find, because of those two have got the same uh, distance, they will um, cut through each other at two points. Now, if we join those two points up, we now have a perpendicular bisector of that line. Try it on paper, you will find that it cuts the line by here halfway through it and it is at a dead 90 degrees to the horizontal line. So that's how we create a perpendicular bisector. Bisecting an angle then means cutting the angle directly in two. So with this one we've got an angle here, we set our compass uh, to uh, a moderate length and create an arc that cuts through both the lines that make up the angle. You then position it with the same uh, distance in the compass. Don't change your compass. The metal point goes where your original arc cut the first line and do a small arc by here. Then we do the same on this side. So the metal point goes where the arc cut the second line and do another arc. And what you'll find is you have a little crisscross by here. And we can simply join up where those two arcs meet with the original point, and that is now a perpendicular bisector. Try it, measure these two angles by here uh, with a protractor, and you'll find they are uh, dead on half of the original angle if it's been done properly. Final then is how to construct a equilateral triangle. I should, oh well, any triangle, but um, if you need to construct an equilateral triangle, you can simply do this technique as well. So I've got a line which I know is the length of one of the sides. So I um, simply uh, s measure uh, the distance on my compass. So for instance, if I have uh, a triangle which says the side has to be five centimeters, the compass has got to be set to five centimeters apart using a ruler. And I create uh, an arc with it. My next job is to go to the other end. Now, if I was being told to create an equilateral triangle, I know all the sides are the same. So I'm going to keep the um, distance on the compass the same. That would also be five centimetres. If it wasn't, if it was just a triangle with another particular length, then I'd set it to the new length. And I create the arc. And now I can simply join up the points of the ends of the original line with the distance at which the, the two arcs met. And if I kept the lengths the same, that will be an equilateral triangle. Or if I change them, then that will be the triangle that I was trying to create. And those are the three constructions that you need to be able to do 